So when we saw open the skull and we take the brain out, then it's kind of wow, you know. So there's like this kilogram and a half of intelligence that they're holding and they find it quite a, uh, quite a moment. Around the world there's been a move away from dissection as a process of studying anatomy for, for undergrad and postgrad students. But people have realized that this is probably a mistake because these 3D programs, the virtual anatomy and so forth, they, it's a, it's a, they're a fantastic resource when the students are studying anatomy, but it doesn't replace the real thing. The students need to deconstruct this body and hold things and explore and lift things up and, and so on. And that is the best way for them to learn the real structure of the body and also to acquire the knowledge that they need for clinic, clinical examination of a patient and surgical skills later on. We found that a number of our donors would like to advance medical science so that future generations could benefit even more because they've benefited so much during their lives from what medical science had to offer them. On the first day, when you open the body up, you take the shroud off and the body's whole, uncut, untouched on the table, and it's another human being. The students are very aware of that, you know, and there's always the silence in the dissection hall when we, when we kick off. But when once they start removing the skin, somehow it doesn't seem to be as human anymore. We have six uh, second year students who dissect everything from the neck down, so the trunk and the limbs. And then we have six third year medical students who are dissecting the head and neck and the neuro course. So we have 12 students dissecting one body. The face is a difficult area to dissect, which is why we leave it for third year. And also when the students see, uh, for example, painted fingernails, it's a much more personal touch to the cadaver there. Initially, every time I, I cut into the body, I felt as if I had to almost apologize for hurting the body. Um, but over time, you sort of just lose yourself in the process of actually dissecting, and then you sort of forget that it's a person. Uh, but you do have moments where, um, just sudden moments of realization, where it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm cutting a person. So I don't think that ever goes away, but you, you get used to the process, yeah. The students love holding the heart. Uh, they love taking out the heart and holding it because uh, that, that, they probably see that as the part of the body with the most life because the chambers would beat and blood would flow. And also we associate many things with the heart. Yeah. Being a good person, being big hearted, you know, falling in love, that kind of thing. Uh, oracle. 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 We're actually learning in a way that not even a textbook could help us. Like you open up and you see a heart and you know it's a heart, but when you actually see the trabeculae and all of the things that are inside the heart, you're just like, oh my gosh. And it's like, it's, it's inspiring and it, I loved it. I loved doing dissection. In the third years enjoy uh, holding the brain. So when we saw open the skull and we take the brain out, then it's kind of wow, you know. When you look at it, you see all the matter and everything, but when you think, you don't think in matter, you don't think in chemicals. When you think, you can think of a word, you can think of colours, but that's not what you see when you look at it. And I find that fascinating. At all times, they must be very respectful of the body. They must uh, remember that it's a donation to them to study on and uh, they must treat it in a very professional, very ethical way. And there is a move around the world in faculties that dissect to say to the students, you must consider this to be your first patient. And in that way, they will treat the person appropriately. Well, for me, I was, I was just sort of in awe of the whole process, just the fact that someone had donated their body, you know, to further my learning. Before the uh, exams begin, we have a ceremony where the second year students bring to that event some sort of celebration of the person who donated their body. It's their way of thanking the donors for uh, what they see as the silent tutor, the quiet one who's teaching them the anatomy, so very cool.
You think of these 12 students going out into the world as healthcare providers, medical practitioners. Some of them will be general practitioners, some will specialize or super specialize. And then you think of a 40, 45 year career and all the lives each one of those 12 will touch. And you realize what an amazing gift it is that uh, these donors have, have made for us.